Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three match Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, the Warrior. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, and not fight. has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing. That's I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice jab. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. That's a good knee to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. How good is that right here? 
Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Switching stances here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. The spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Tony lands a knee the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed into a knee to the body, it could in the night. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There you go. Look for the shot. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big kick land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Still nice body kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Real sneaky by the Right hand upstairs. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches, and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Gets caught with that punch. 
Brown's got to shore up the defense here. How about that shin? Able to land with the left hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Missed with that attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Chase that finish down now. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Head kick lands. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Body kick. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Big ball from Punch Lands. Now we get back to range. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nice. Oh, big head kick land. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Able to check the high kick. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab on. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks. Man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it.
You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just missed with the left there. Kick lands, he's hurt. Beautiful one. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this move. Won't finish his fight. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him from track. He's doing a great job of fighting. Ooh, big shot land. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big right hand, yes. Strong defense there to block the shot. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. 30 seconds to go in this one. Let's get busy with those hands. Good stick. Fifteen seconds. 
Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight but he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Head kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Effective punch there by Lee. Slips that left hand. What a body kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big leg kick lands. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Checks the leg kick. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Going orthodox now. Big leg kick land. That was a nice strike. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, a huge block there. Those hands up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, huge block. Great punch landed with so much power.
slips. some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice body kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Throws the right hand there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to one thing. It does not feel good. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. It's a beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hand landing. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he caught the kick. Changes his stance. Separate. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice punch, Lance. Got clip with the right hand. Nice leg kick, Lance. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
big kick land. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the push. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's so He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big body kick lands. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can do.